It's one of those early Pennsylvania mornings when the sun's just beginning to creep over the horizon. The squirrels are playing in the trees all around me, building their nest for winter. It's cold. You can almost see your breath if you look close enough. But the leaves, as they crunch, remind you that nature has a rhythm. Nature is revealing to us characteristics about God. That's all over the scriptures. God that uses the creation to talk about himself, the creator. There's some famous spaces like in Psalm 19, where the heavens declare the glory of God. Or Romans 1, it says, but people were without excuse because he has revealed who he is and the things that he has made. But there's a, a less, a less well-known place in scripture where the questions about God are very connected to the questions about nature. And it's at the end of Job, Job 38 through 41. It's just packed with questions that are so hard to understand. And God in his poetic voice um, begins to interact with Job and remind Job that he is a God who is strong enough and big enough to do all this in creation. He's a God that's strong enough and big enough to deal with all of your questions. So Job 38, this is what God says. Job, have you ever commanded the morning to come? Have you ever shown the sun where to rise? Have you ever traveled to the springs at the bottom of the ocean, Job? Have you walked to his deepest parts? Where does light come from, Job? And where does the darkness live? Can you take them to their places? Do you know the paths to their houses? Hey God, this morning as the sun comes up, he's telling Job, Job, did you command the sun to rise? Did you command the darkness to flee? And so today, take time to slow down in whatever creation is around you and ask the questions of God, what are you revealing to me? And what are you showing me in your creation as our great creator? Father, we uh, long to see you and understand you. We long to have more concrete things that feel like we understand the world and we understand our worlds. But God, sometimes you just give us the gift of curiosity and the gift of trust. And we can look all around us today and see in your nature that uh, you are a God. If you can handle all this, you can handle all of man. God, we love you. We trust you. Show us who you are today as our great creator. Amen.